my biggest manifestation yet. How I manifested a magical childbirth. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I actually have been really looking forward to filming this video. I promised it a few weeks ago. I have to do with my yeah, my biggest manifestation yet and how I was able to go from a very traumatic childbirth experience to a magical one. I have to say that last year when I started this channel, when I posted the first video on this channel, I got pregnant with my second kid. And yes, it's something that I really, really wanted, but then I also understood how traumatic my first childbirth was. And as many of you know, like trauma is a store in the body. And as soon as I found myself pregnant, all of the trauma came up to the surface and I started to have like panic attacks. It was, it was, it, it was really tough, but I'm really happy that I managed to manifest a magical, magical childbirth. So as soon as the trauma came up to the surface of the previous childbirth, I found myself focusing on that a lot. And as you know, what we focus on expands. And I kept on repeating to myself, oh my God, if I keep on focusing on this, I'm going to be manifesting the same. So I'm going to end up experiencing kind of the same traumatic childbirth, which is something that I wanted to heal. I wanted to be able to look past that and I wanted to manifest a better, much nicer childbirth because I knew it was possible, but I found myself in like like it trapped in a box and i didn't know how to get out of there and i had a session a much needed session which was a catalyst for me a session with my my coach my angel sgr that session was yes as i said it was a catalyst for me that i needed to be able to look past the trauma and to start focusing on the new that i wanted to create that i wanted to experience after, After I, I had that, that session, I started to look into uh, creating a plan for the childbirth, like a positive plan so that I will have more control. I started to look into how the body properly works. I started to look into hypnobirthing. I did hypnobirthing, hypnobirthing classes, which is something that I'm really, really thankful for because the breathing in hypnobirthing is amazing. Just something out of this world. It's just amazing what we can do with proper breathing and our bodies. So for so, me to be able to quantum jump and create a completely new experience, how to understand the conditioning behind childbirth, the beliefs that were created in my reality and what I experienced before so that I could change the whole thing and create, manifest a new experience. And as all of you know, like conditioning behind childbirth on this plane is about childbirth being painful, childbirth being traumatic, women screaming, and I have to say that it can be different. It can be completely different. If you understand that it is just conditioning, if you understand that women have given birth since ever that we had actually made for this that we are the ones who navigate unborn spirits into this dimension don't you understand that you are a divine being and childbirth it's supposed to be magical so based on that new understanding which i could actually access after my session with my coach and through the hypnobirthing classes i started to do affirmations and i started to do visualizations i started to see myself giving birth in a very specific environment in a divine environment understanding that i am the universe experiencing itself and i was carrying a human being which is also the universe experiencing itself. So I kept on asking myself, if I am all of this, 
how come people really do believe that childbirth is supposed to be painful and how come I experienced a very traumatic childbirth before and it was all because of the conditioning you know you have this condition you think that and everything and everyone around around you tells you that things are supposed to be in a specific way and then you create a belief that they are supposed to be like that and you end up experiencing that but once you go back to the conditioning and you change you understand it and you change it and then you're able to create a new beliefs in your subconscious mind because through the affirmations and the visualizations what i did is that i was reprogramming my subconscious mind after that happened i was able to experience a magical childbirth and people affirmations and visualizations they do work but i also have to say that the biggest part of that manifestation was actually being able to surrender when the time came i really needed it to be present i really needed it to surrender i've said this before and i will say it again 95 percent of our manifestations are going to come through other people and by me being able to surrender completely I could accept everything that everyone in the delivery room was giving me. I had to understand that everything that I visualized, everything that I affirmed, was given to me by and through the other people in the delivery room. It's like I could I was able to see that everything that I visualized and affirmed, the universe put together. And the universe gave that to me through the people that was there. And it was more magical, bigger, and more extraordinary than I could have ever imagined. And that's when I understood how surrendering is such a big piece of the manifesting puzzle. Because if we don't surrender, we'll never be able to receive, to properly receive, completely receive what the universe wants to give us. And surrendering is all about being present and letting go of control. Trusting, it is about trusting, trusting the universe and trusting yourself. Because if you know that you have done the job, you have done your, your manifestations, your visualizations, and you have aligned yourself properly with the vibration of your wishes, and you just trust, you trust yourself, then everything will happen as you want it, and the universe will surprise you. It's all, you know that the universe always surprises us, and manifestations end up being bigger and better than we visualize them i really hope that this video helps someone out there i know that this is a very sensitive topic for women because we are expected to be thankful for everything that has to do with childbirth but childbirth can be really tough and it can be traumatic as my first childbirth was but you can also manifest a wonderful childbirth. If I did it, you are able to do it too. I will leave my email address in the description box below. And if you want to reach out, if there is someone out there who finds themselves in the same position, and you want to reach out, just please do so. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video and thank you very much for watching.